The Nine of Wands, Yassad. The Sephir of Yassad, which means foundation, is the first Sephirot above Malkuth, which means kingdom, on the middle pillar of the Kabbalah, and represents the beginning of the balancing process of the three pillars. It also represents the location of the wedding of the sun and the moon, the Messiah, Typhirith, and the bride, Malkuth, and the chemical wedding of the alchemists. It is associated with the color purple because it unites the attributes of the pillars of severity and mercy. The color purple is produced by equally mixing the colors red, Javura, and male polarity, and blue, Chesed, and female polarity. Within God's eternal plan, Yisad represents the marriage of the Messiah and the Bride, which marks the beginning of the world to come. The diagram of the Kabbalistic Tree of Life is symbolically related to the human body, and the Sephirot line up with different body parts. Kether lines up with the head, Tifereth with the heart, and Yisad with the genital region, which is where the two become one flesh. Although diagrams with circles lining up with different sections of the human body may remind some people of the Eastern Chakra system, the Sephirot are not energy centers, and they are not related to the Chakra system or Kundalini Yoga. The genders and relationships within Kabbalah are symbolic, and the marriage relationship is used to describe the commitment or covenant between God and His people, or the Messiah and His apprentices. The Invisible Church, which consists of both males and females, is referred to as a bride of the Lamb. But Yeshua is not actually going to get married to an infinite number of people. In alchemy, the rabbis is used to graphically represent the union of the male and female polarities. But the goal is not to become a hermaphrodite. The male and female polarities represent different traits that may seem to be more associated with a certain gender. But the traits are universal characteristics that are found in all humans. The goal is to obtain oneness. John 1711 and Romans 124 where people are not divided by political, religious, or sexual categories, but everyone should love their neighbor as themselves. Matthew 22:39. And there should be no difference between Jew or Gentile, male or female, slave or free, because all are one. Yasad is in the world of Yazira, which is associated with the mental processes. Yasad represents the location where a seeker first starts putting the pieces of the puzzle together and formulates a solid foundation for wisdom to build her house. Those who engage in the chemical wedding become living stones, 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 5, and they are built into a dwelling for the Holy Spirit, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, Verse 16. The development of the Philosopher's Stone within a person represents the solidification of the spiritual substance of wisdom into a firm foundation of truth, which is cemented within the person's subconscious mind and forms into a fundamental belief system. Yeshua taught the importance of building upon a solid foundation. As one becomes firm in his or her convictions, the foundational concepts can be used to make moral judgments and to understand spiritual matters. Yasad represents the Shekinah, and as moon provides a reflection of the light of the sun, wisdom is a mirror of the eternal light. The spirit of wisdom indwelt and anointed Christ, and then helped to guide him, which represents the union and bond of Typhirith and Yasad. The spirit of wisdom also unites with seekers on the earth, or Malkuth, through the chemical wedding. After transforming the living stones into an acceptable bride, she connects those in the world, or Malkuth, with the bridegroom, Typhirith, and then union takes place at Yasad. The name of God associated with Yasad is El Shaddai, which means God Almighty, or alternatively, Shaddai El Shai, which means Almighty Living God. The name refers to Hashem being the God of the living, and those who become living stones have chosen life. The elements associated with Yisad is air, which is balanced between fire and water. The minor arcana card selected to represent the nines is the Nine of Wands, which shows a man contemplating a wall of wands that he has erected. The Nine Wands represent the Nine Sephirot above Malkuth 
which the person is trying to put into order, or to make sense of them, he uses the wands or principles of the different sephirot to begin to create a protective barrier or stronghold around him. The person stands on a flat and level stone-like foundation where he will start building his house of wisdom. The Hebrew letter Tet. Yasad is the ninth sephirot and is associated with the Hebrew letter Tet, which means container and has a numerical value of nine. Mystically, the letter Tet consists of a calf, which is the first letter in Kether, being combined with a Zion. The Zion consists of a Yad being added to a Bav. The letter Tet is associated with a container and has the value of nine and represents the womb and the nine months of pregnancy. The Tet follows the Chet in the Aleph Bet. The Chet shows the couple in union under a wedding canopy. Tet represents the results of the union. The Sefer Zero lists Tet as one of the 12 simple letters and associates it with taste and nutrition. The womb nourishes and grows the new creation that results from the chemical wedding. See Zion equals 7 and Calf equals 20. 2 plus 0 equals 2. And then you add the 7 to the 2 with a grand total of nine. The letter Tet is first used in the Bible in the word good or tav. God saw the light. Wisdom was good. Genesis 1, 4. The letter that comes after Tet is Yad, which represents the completion of the cycle. The Yad represents God and oneness. And as in the tarot formula developed by Pappas, the final He or disciple or page becomes a Yad of its own cycle, with the tenth Malkuth, maintaining oneness with the original principle of creation. Due to the shape of Tet, it is also referred to as a serpent. The intelligence listed in the 32 paths of wisdom associated with the Sephira of Yasad is purified. The text reads, The ninth path is the pure intelligence, so called because it purifies the numerations it proves and corrects the designing of their representation and disposes their unity with which they are combined with diminution or division. The ninth path represents the purification that begins with the chemical wedding and the uniting with the Shekinah. The results of the union produce a new creation which will be nurtured by the spirit of life as it forms and solidifies into a stone on a firm and level foundation. The ninth commandment is not to bear false witness. Those who are transformed become a new creation, and they progress beyond their old behaviors, and come to understanding and testify of the truth.